Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. Today's tutorial is going to be on Proposition 26 of Book 1, which states that if you have two triangles, just let me draw my triangles here, and if two angles are equal to two angles in our respective triangles, and one side is equal to another side, then the two triangles are equivalent. So let's begin. So we're going to start with two triangles where beta is equal to epsilon and gamma is equal to phi and the base is equal to the base. Now according to this proposition, these two triangles are equivalent in all respects. So to prove this, we're going to do it by our method of contradiction. So we're going to assume that the line BA is actually larger than the line ED. So C is larger than F. If this is the case, we're going to define a point H such that it is equal in length to line ED. So ED is equal to BG. Sorry, we're defining a point G. Create the line GC. And it is clear from this diagram that alpha is less than gamma. But since we know that gamma and phi are equivalent, we have that theta is less than phi. Now let's look at these two triangles, BGC and EDF. We have a side, angle, side, side, angle, side, that's equivalent, and by Proposition 4 we know that this is the case, then all the elements of the triangle are equivalent, which gives us that theta is equal to phi. Well, theta cannot be simultaneously less than phi and equal to phi. So we have just demonstrated that C cannot be larger than F. So C uh, excuse me. So C is equal to F. Now if we look at these two triangles, we have C, beta, A, F, epsilon, D. C and F are equal, beta and epsilon is equal, A and D are equal, so again we have side, angle, side, which means the two triangles are equivalent in all respects, so E is equal to B, and delta is equal to alpha. These two triangles are equivalent. Now let's look at a slightly different configuration. Again, starting with two triangles, where beta is equal to epsilon and gamma is equal to phi. In this case, we are going to have one of the sides of the triangle, in this case AB, is equal in length to DE. Uh, the proposition states, again, that these two triangles are equal. To prove this, again, we're going to do this by contradictions. So let's assume that A is larger than D. So knowing that BC, or assuming that BC is larger than EF, let's define a point H such that, hang on a minute, I've got to do this, that BH is equal to ED, and connect the points A and H to make a new line. Now, looking at the two triangles, AHB and DFE, we have a side, angle, side, side, angle, side, equal, so the two triangles are equal, which means that theta is equal to phi. So we have theta equal to phi. Now looking at this small triangle AHC, given by Proposition 16, we know that theta, being an exterior angle, is larger than gamma, which is an interior angle. And since gamma, we've already defined as equal to phi, we have theta is greater than phi. And again, we cannot have theta equal to and greater to phi simultaneously. So this statement, A greater than D, is false. And we have A is equal to D. 
Again, looking at the two triangles, angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, we have that theta is equal to phi, and AC is equal to DF, because the two triangles are equivalent in all respects. And thus we have demonstrated the two triangles are equivalent in all respects if we have two angles equal to two angles in another triangle, and one line equal to the other. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.